Uh, good morning, everyone. I've had a few people ask me how I've got the dual yokes to work. Obviously, you know, as you can probably see through some of my videos, I have the the dual yokes working. Uh, and um, yeah, I thought I might take the opportunity to show you how I've done that behind the panel uh, as they are mechanically linked. It's um, a fairly crude design, nothing flash, so uh, but it certainly does the job for me. I'll show you that in a second. So this is it, uh, fairly straightforward. Yes, I'm using rubber bands for tension, uh, which, which works really well for me. Um, now they're mechanically linked. There's the shafts, as you can see, straight through the back of the panel on both the pilot side and the co-pilot side. Uh, and these are, if I can just show you here, these are draw runners. Uh, and I'll, sh I'll you can buy them at any hardware store. So they uh, draw runners there, and I think these are 300 millimeter draw runners that I have uh, with a, a designed uh, plate, if you like. Well, this is a six millimeter MDF plate, uh, which runs all the way along and connects those two there. And obviously these draw runners are then connected to that plate. Uh, I then have um, if I can just stick with the plate for the moment, we then obviously have for, for tension uh, back and forth. I literally have, and I tried a whole range of things here. I tried springs, uh, I tried uh, bungee cords, um, but I ended up finding that, that a, a heavier duty elastic band seemed to give me the right level of tension. Now, as you can see, you, you know, I've been playing around with the tensions. <laughs> by virtue of all these different drill holes along here, and I eventually found the sweet spot. So there is a little bit of trial and error with it, um, but literally, you know, this, this springs back um, and gives me that, 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 that nice uh, spring action. So that works quite well. Uh, I haven't, and then for rotation, uh, again, I've 3D printed up um, a, effectively just a, a bit of a device here, which Inside of this, it's this is just a you know, sandwiched two two pieces sandwiched together, uh, but inside that um, is a pipe clip um, that you know that you screw on. I haven't got a picture of one at the moment, but a um, effectively like one of those tightening pipe clips that clamps clamps this pipe, uh, this tube, uh, and then um, because of the nut that's on the outside of that, uh, that then uh, you know these these clamp onto that. Uh, and that holds that in position. So that keeps that nice and sturdy in position there and literally just a mechanical, just an arm um, that, on that. Now, as you can see, I've been pushing holes through here because the intention was that I would run a band from here to here, you know, and from here to here to give me that, that rotation. But unfortunately, that doesn't work. Uh, the the forces that are required to to rotate you know if you can appreciate that going like that rotating and bringing it back it just doesn't work so i am yet to figure out how to do the rotational centering yet um it's not super critical for me in the cessna 172 but but it'll be nice so i may have to look at this design a bit later on and, and figure a way to uh to fix that um so in terms of, you know, obviously travel, uh, I think from memory it's about uh, 150 millimetres, 160 millimetres, and I literally just have brackets either side to stop that travel. Um, and then in terms of electronics, uh, I went with potentiometers. So I have a Leo Bodner BUOA83X, I think it is, the smaller one. Um, and there are a couple of things hanging off of this now, or there's three things hanging off this primarily. Uh, potentiometer here, which is for my roll, uh, and that literally is a piece that sits inside the end of the shaft there, um, which I custom 3D printed and designed through Fusion 360. Uh, again, with a, a bracket here, Fusion 360, and literally the potentiometer um, connecting in to the end there. Uh, for pitch, again, uh, a little mechanical device that I had hooked up here, again, just a simple bracket there. Uh, with a potentiometer poking up um, and a sliding mechanism, which I can pull that keeper plate out, which I designed. And uh, that literally, literally just sits through there like that. So as you can see, uh, with the travel, it just travels up and down uh, to suit uh, that, and that's obviously the center position through there. 
and then this is just a keeper plate just to hold that in place and stop that from jumping up and that works I got that a bit of a snug fit and that works really well uh, now in terms of sensitivity um, you know you can play around with other other sorts of devices um, I, I honestly find that the potentiometers work fine for me and I've, and I've got that relatively well dialed in now the final uh, piece that I've got hooked up is my radio uh, so you can see here I've got um, uh, what well one, one um, signal digital signal going back through the shaft that goes through the shaft and then into my pilot shaft at my push to talk at the back um, and I've got that hooked up and then the other one uh, is actually going through to the co-pilot side back through the co-pilot shaft and into the co-pilot's yoke uh, and that one I, I you can program whatever you like but I've used it for um, activating and deactivating the um, ATC noises that you hear in the background uh, just for, for the co-pilot something to do for the co-pilot later on I would like to actually have an independent radio control for the co-pilot as well push to talk but at the moment it's just the pilot doing that uh, and then that's just obviously USB connection back to the PC uh, which is sitting at the back here for another video um, not much else to really talk about that that's pretty much it but look I'm happy to field anyone's questions um, probably the only other thing is just guide plates on the side just to make sure that you know when it's traveling back and forth that it's not um, getting out of alignment um, and they work well again all 3d printed and designed through Fusion 360 so nothing really flash in it um, it does the job it, it looks effective um, I get just the right level of tension and again and I can I could take this up as much as I want or as less as I want um, I do find that you know every few you know probably every month or two months the you know one of the bands will break um, but again you know they're, they're cheap as anything to replace so I generally find you know, it takes me two seconds to replace an, uh, an elastic band. You don't have to worry about that horrible SATEC centering problem. Um, I'm managing to find my landings, you know, practice aside, are generally pretty good. Uh, and it works really well. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully that's given you a bit more insight, and I'll give you some more insights into my sim um, at another date. Uh, thanks again, and talk to you soon. Bye for now.